And you know, most economies, in Europe especially, I have the Germany chairman here, they have not even opened the economy fully. Canada is still closed. One of the richest nations in the world, one of the best managed economy in the world, is Canada. Today, there's a shutdown. And when you get to Canada airport, to quarantine, you pay 3,500 Canadian dollars. At 2,000. And if you refuse to quarantine, they give you sermons of 3,500 Canadian. Is that what we see? I saw a pastor talking about, oh, I'm in London. The system is working. That we preach in my system, we're going to have work. We preach. Relying on God for everything. You have forgotten yourself that your preaching is also the part of the system. Why it is not working. That they go there. Even what he was describing, Ghana started as far back as March 20th, 2020. That when you get to the airport, they quarantine you. Before you go home, they will test you. My daughters came, they were convinced. You have to test them again to make sure they are negative before they were allowed to come home. Those who tested positive, they visited them, checked their contacts, the people, and also tested those people. This is what the pastor saw in the UK and said the systems work. When we, the great Ghana under the Kufuwa, we know what time it is. We started March 2020. And you were standing in London uh, doing your exercise and the system is working. Stop preaching bogus day to us so that we use our brains to work and not rely on God for everything. But I have created you in my own image. Ask yourself every morning when you wake up, look into the mirror and ask God, is that the image of you? <laughs> yes. Before you start going out there and challenge God that you say that you've, have, you've created me in your own image, then let me see signs. Let me think. And let the system work. And it's as simple as that. So if the system work, Tell them you are here. This opportunity for you to go and answer them. It is not only two-way street, husband and wife, government and the people. The people also obey the laws of the country. That is why the systems are working. So as a pastor, a priest, preach for your members to abide by the law and stop stealing and rely on God by chanting you are crazy don't speak it in tongues you are crazy go and work I'll tell you the truth I work I bust my fucking head here thinking how I'm going to make money and create jobs for the youth my steel plant, minimum 1,200 Ghanaians are going to work with my day. This is how I'm thinking, my head. My wife keeps telling me, please, you haven't failed, you're going to die and leave this. You have to stop thinking. I am thinking because of you. I feel so guilty standing here as a politician talking to you. We have done a disservice to the youth of this country. Why? My daughter graduated on Saturday from Cornell University. Tuesday, she started working. And you, what have we done to you? What is your fate? That is why you hear me screaming at these politicians who don't love the country and they think of themselves. We have to create jobs. And if you 
can create jobs, I'll tell you, religion is impeding progress in this country. Religion is impeding progress in this country. They don't allow us to think and use our brains to work. We are over reliant on God for everything. If God wanted us to rely on Him like that, He would have created us just like the birds who will not plant anything and do anything. Fly in the field, go and eat, and just go back to sleep. But God created us as a superior human being over His all, all His creation. That is why He gave us this. We are not being allowed. To use our brains to make the money. Yes, sir. Read Ecclesiastes 10 19. I say, food is for laughter, wine is for merrymaking, money answers it all. Yes. So, anybody who will tell you, and I will pay scattered up, and I will pay away with them. Hey, face God. Hey, we are going to die one day. That's no question about it. But if you have money and you are sick, some sicknesses, money will save you easily. I have a friend who had COVID from Holland. He, he, he was from Holland and had it here. Not that he doesn't have money, but he came for holidays and he got this. He needed 22,000 for oxygen. If I had not paid, he would have died. So money can give you oxygen. That, that is what COVID at least has taught us. So let's work. Take your destiny into your own hand. And sky is the limit. You gotta work. Work. And what any man has done, you can do it too. It's just a question of time and determination. Whoever thought can I get on that poor soul from a sin dumping today when a disco guys hear my name they applaud. That's a great guy. I was not born in a rich home. No. You got it, boy. Yes. A poor soul like myself today you wasted all your time just to come and listen to me. Look. You can do better than me. You can do better than me. It's just determination. Irrespective of the family you came from or you belong, your determination will change your life completely. And I tell you, the right word, I'm not going to use it because they may misquote you. But I tell you, my philosophy to survive in this country. I went to America, they were asking me, how did you make it? I said, in a society with a bunch of ignorance, the few wise men succeed. So be among the few wise men and carry the fools along. And some of the fools will change and emulate you and will deliver this country. That is it. That is it. So don't be shy of Ghana. It's a great nation that is between you and me. That can make a difference. That is why I'm here. I wouldn't have come back because we were late. But I said, look, they look up to me. Let me share this story with them. We want to see that one day you meet me somewhere, that time will be old. You say, honorable, you used to be a Sin Central MP. We met at Nat Hall. He said ABCD. I used it. And today, here I am. I'm somebody who thinks of my children's future. I'm somebody who thinks of the future, the future of the youth of this country. It is not my selfish interest riding in Rolls Royce. What? With all this, what I've said still is vanity. Yeah, I've said all this. My Rolls Royce, I think for the past five years, I've not even started the engine. Now I hear when they going, we were going to start it, it didn't start. But I bought it just to make a statement that I said on the best of my mind. So ladies and gentlemen, what the foundation we are laying is determining or going to determine the future 
of you. And with this foundation, we are praying that COVID will end this year. And 2022, 2023, you will see different economy. That will shape your future. That will shine your future. I was talking to the president, I'm saying, Mr. President, you have taught me something. What you have taught me is that if a man is determined to achieve something with perseverance, he will achieve it. That is why, irrespective of the criticisms of the free SHS, you believe in it and had faith, and it has worked. Now, your next step is industrialization. Because it is the industries that will create jobs. So 2022, you see the number of companies that will spring up so that we can absorb students that are coming out of college. Because if my daughter should finish on Saturday and Tuesday as a job, and I have a lot of applications, parents are bringing their awards, begging me, or their children begging me to get them jobs, then I ask myself, what kind of politician I am? I'm not able to make a difference. My daughter sees me, Saturday, graduated from Cornell, and Tuesday, Tuesday she's working. She's working. I have, I have to do the same, same as a politician, politician before I die. All I need from you is long prayers, long life. My ambition is to at least create about 50,000 jobs as a man before I die. Now I've done maybe 10% of it. And when I go, my happiness is that I go to my sites and see people working and I say to myself, wow, come here Japan, a phone pan and you have all these workers working for you. I come on one morning, but I'll continue to do more. So my message to you is that MPP has laid the foundation for you, for your future. It's up to you to take advantage of it. Criticize when it is necessary to criticize. Don't lament every time. Use the lamentation to be created. Create something for yourself. And one day, you'll be someone. God bless all. Ladies and gentlemen, we come together. Me did the young and touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you. Papa, come and you for Ghana. No, me used to tap, tap, send, tap, tap, send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you're free. Won't you ashe? Me discover a map pim tap, tap. Send. In TN, also download the Tap Tap Send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Never see Kakomo Busuya for Ghana for Nenina. Tap Tap Send. Papa no no.